Hey, what's up and welcome back. We're I'm back here with another wonderful video. I made a joke. I have no regrets in life. Um, anyways, welcome back. What to do today? We are going to be ranking Lego Series 2. Now, do keep in mind this series still costed two dollars like Series 1. Uh, and, um, that will drastically change my opinions, but I still will be kind of harsh on the series because I've had to get the pictures for many things, and I've already seen some. All right, let's just commence. The waiter for two dollars is meh. I wouldn't for two dollars. I would still buy him, but he is meh compared to all the other figures. I don't really like him. I mean, his torso print is kind of cool, and the dumbbell is just nothing to me. Hip hop singer is also meh. I don't like most of the singer characters, with the exception of the one in the Lego Batman and uh, movie series two. That one was really good, right? Yeah, series two. That one was really good in my opinion. I really like that one. Uh, yes, most singers don't do anything for me. Again, for two dollars, I would be willing to buy it. But, um, there's not really anything much about her that I really like or care for. Ski dude, ski, 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 ski dude. Um, ski dude is okay. I do like his torso print, I like his face print, and I really like that beanie piece. That beanie piece is one of my favorite Lego hat pieces. The, on the only thing that beats it is the Lego top hat piece, many of the very specific, like, Spartan hats, and if LEGO ever makes a fedora, that would easily win, because fedoras are gone tier. Um, but yeah, Beanie is really good hat, uh, so this is a pretty okay figure, I do like the ski concept, and for $2, it's actually not a pretty bad concept. I mean, for something like 3 or $4, or 5 is it definitely be lower, but for two dollars, I think this is a pretty good fig. Disco guy is great. I absolutely love Disco guy. This torso print is awesome. His face print is awesome. That freaking um hairpiece. True fact. I own uh I own I own the torso print and the uh, disco hair of this character. I just don't own the face print, and I. Um, yeah, this is a pretty awesome fig, and I know you guys can't really see that, but that is a really cool printed piece. Is um, absolutely love this guy. This guy's pretty good. Sorry that is, this picture is different from all. I couldn't find any good pictures on this guy for some reason. Um, but yeah, he's pretty great. Absolutely love that torso print. Great, great, great. And he's probably my favorite out of all the disco ones, because all the other disco characters that come in the future are just... Boo! I mean, there is like the the uh, lady disco one. She she isn't that bad, but still, the original is the best in this occasion. The martial art guy is okay. I really like his torso print and his leg print and that Lego trophy piece. Um, plus this was the first one of him, so he's pretty cool. Absolutely love that widow piece. Um, but the main reason this guy is an okay instead of Matt is because I actually really like that torso print. Like, I really, really like it. Um, I've always liked, like, the martial art type figs on LEGO. Um, even if they have done a lot. Surfing guy is meh. I don't like surfing guy that much. Um... He's probably the second best surfer we've gotten. Series 17 was the best surfer. But at that point, we had had at least four surfers. And there's only so many surfers a man needs in his life. Considering that there's also Lego Le Lego Le Lego City he sets that, that are in the beach. And include surfing guys that I would much rather save up for. Because all Lego beach sets are some of the Best Lego City sets. The Pharaoh is meh. I don't really care for him. Um, yeah, I don't really like him that much. I'm not a huge fan of the Pharaoh. I'm not a huge fan of any type of Pharaoh in any series, to be honest. Um, I'm more of a medieval guy than Egyptian and or Western guy, too. So, this guy does nothing for me. Mexican guy is awesome for $2. This is like a... Considering that we have gotten other Mar Marashis 
Morashis. I speak Spanish, and it's hard to say this word in English for me. Um, yeah, but I'm just going to call him the Mexican guy. No racism. I am Mexican, too. Um, yeah, but this guy is great. Not great. Awesome. This guy is awesome, especially for $2, considering that we have gotten figs like this for 3 and $4. The fact that there is a fig like this for $2... It's just, it's, it's glorious. It's, it's great. It's glorious potatoes. Um, the Spartan guy is also awesome. Absolutely love the Spartan guy. Um, absolutely love him. Spartan guy, great, 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 great. He is just awesome. Especially for two dollars. He's even we'd get Spartans for this for also like three or four dollars. The fact that there is a Spartan like this for two dollars, that is so cool in my opinion um that spear piece is great that shield piece is great that helmet piece is probably one of my favorite spartan helmet pieces the torso is great the cape is great the leg printing is great just love these i just absolutely love these two figs this isn't even my favorite of the uh mexican guys or marashis marashis um, <laughs> um so yeah he's um he's pretty great he's awesome um the Lion Tamer is meh. I don't like the Lion Tamer. I actually own this fig. Then I took him apart to use him for something else without realizing it. So, um, no regrets. Um, probably one of my least favorites. Still prefer him over the Pharaoh. Now nah, I like the Pharaoh more because that staff piece is pretty cool. Um, but yeah. Now, I know there's a lot of mess in this series and it's bad compared to other series. But do keep this in mind. Um... I would still be willing willing to get all of these since they were just two dollars. The witch is okay. I like the witch. Uh, she comes with a broom piece. She's okay. Um, not bad. Vampire one is great. Absolutely love him. That cape piece, that bat piece. It's it's like the witch, but a lot better. Like a lot, lot, lot better. Better, 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 better. The cop is just a bad choice. Sorry. We've only had two Lego Cops, this was the first one, and this is stupid. It's not as stupid as the uh, other cop from Series 9, which is why he's not in a wasted spot. Um, at least he's somewhat different, being more of a forest cop, or something like that, or desert cop, I'd say it. Um, still don't like him, and yeah, um, there had to be one I really didn't want to pay for. It'd probably be him, I... No, I just, I just buy like a ten dollar Lego police car because police cars are pretty cool. At least the ten the ones that are ten dollars, like that the main like the entire focus is that car. They're pretty cool. Um, the Explorer is pretty okay. Absolutely love him. Again, okay, it's just a replacement for good in my opinion. And the reason I did that is because my opinion is if the series is really good, Lego minifigs are awesome. Um, so, I'm like, I felt like more were gonna land in great, but I ended up putting more in okay, so, yeah, uh, maybe I'll go in a more video explaining why I chose the spots I did. Um, yeah, Explorer is great, that, he comes with a magnifying piece, and the Lego magnifying piece is probably my favorite Lego, like, utensil piece, like, if that makes sense, or like, spoons, knives, telescopes, um, binoculars, like the stars binoculars, like out of those things, uh, there's probably more. Yeah, the magnifying piece, the magnifying, uh, magnifying glass piece. He, that's my favorite by a long shot. Um, hey chubby, um, lifeguard is meh. I don't like the lifeguard that much. I I wouldn't say no to buying her. I just would say no to buying her for more than two dollars. Three dollars is too much for her, for lifeguards. Um, the mime. I'm only gonna put an okay. I don't like this Lego mime. This is probably my least favorite mime. Mime out of all the ones it put out. And the reason being because of the creative idea that Lego rarely does. I think the last time I saw this was a Lego Batman movie set with the police officer. Um, yeah, 
they literally give you extra heads so you can change the emotions, which is something they rarely do. They usually just give you dual prints, but LEGO has done this in the past. For, uh, the one I can remember, and the most recent one, I believe, is the LEGO Batman movie. He, um, one of the LEGO Batman movie sets. Yeah, they did that. this with an officer where they gave him a different piece. Changes expression, and that is just a really cool concept. I wish Lego were to do more. Like seriously, I really, really wish Lego were to do that more, because that is such a cool idea in my opinion. I really like this idea. But anyways, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you did, let me know in the comment section below, or by doing any of the other things that popular YouTubers will tell you, but I'm not going to tell you, because I only save those for when I do really special occasions, or I feel like being awkward. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, I am repeating my words, because I was going to say something at the end of the video. You know what, just, these two, these four minifigs are pretty good. There we go. Do keep in mind, something I don't mention is that I do put these in order for my favorite. That's why I'm constantly moving them around like this, because these are actually in the order of, of favorite to least, because I can actually pretty much pinpoint which one I prefer over the other one. Um, yeah. Anyways, I hope to see y'all the next time. Good. Bye.